This is The Daily Pulse. I'm Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries. And today's episode is to take the sibling challenge. What do I mean by that? Let me share with you a scripture here. I'm David, Psalm chapter 133, verse 1. And listen to the joy in his voice you know, that, that just shines through the ages here. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. Exclamation point. Psalm chapter 133, verse 1. It's Psalm of David. So you know, we, we could say it's, you know, King David is talking about brothers in Christ. Or we could talk about actual brothers. And I want to tell you a little bit about my brother, Eric, and how much I love my brother. Eric and I are two years apart in school and you know, roughly that in part in age. But we have been thick as thieves since we were little kids. And, and mom and dad kept us together in the same room. You know, we wanted to, you know, I remember one time we wanted to have different bedrooms and my, my parents insisted that we stay together. And, and Eric and I played together. We, we had a lot of fun together. We got in trouble together. We, we, we cried together. We laughed together. We just did life together. And Eric and I had the privilege of rooming together our, my, my third year and his first year at Penn State. It was awesome. And even through the years, Eric and I, my, my physical brother, you know, the one and only, love him so much, had a chance to do lunch just this past, just today, as a matter of fact, and had a chance just to sit down for three hours and just catch up. And how therapeutic, how wonderful, how joyous, just was praising God for my brother. And we just talked, you know, caught up on, you know, how you know, his, my nephews are doing and how his, his niece and nephews are doing and how my bride's doing, how his bride's doing, how we miss mom and dad, and just talked about life and laughed, had a couple belly laughs, but... You know, I consider it a gift to have a, uh, a brother like my brother Eric. And the, this, the sibling challenge I'm issuing today is this. Many of us have, you know, brothers and sisters. And, and as it was driving my daughter and one of my sons, Grant, to dance practice today, Elizabeth said to me, she said, Daddy, she says, I hope I'm that close with my brother, just like you and Uncle Eric are. And it, it almost brought a tear to my eye. And, and, and I said, oh, honey, I said, I think you will be. You know, and the challenge is this. If you, you know, by God's grace, Eric and I have a great relationship. Maybe you have a great relationship with your brother or your sister and you haven't reached out to them in a while. The challenge is this, reach out to your sibling. Reach out to your brother, your brothers, your sister, your sisters. Reach out and see if there's someone that you can connect together. Maybe it's just a tweet. Maybe it's just a text. Maybe it's an email. Maybe it's a quick phone call or an old-fashioned letter. But in some way, my challenge to you is to reach out to them. Reach out to them and just let them know that you love them. You may not say that and you may not be on those types of terms, but you know, just let them know that they're special and then you're thankful for them. And again, I praise God for Eric and in that, Father, I'm so thankful to be able to give glory to God for my brother because of what you did in Jesus' name. Amen.